ma vaida taje uh, i'm a mother in house three i'm taking care of nine children currently my two children are in the secondary school and then the seven are, in, are with me in the house one i've got admission in the college the work of a mother in SOS is very sweet, is very encouraging, but also tedious. Why do I say it's tedious? I'm the last person to go to bed and the first to get up. When we get up in the morning, around 5.30, I get up, I go around to call my children, see to them that they brush their teeth and wash their face. They have, each of them have various um, choices that they do. So they go to their choices whilst I'm also, whilst I'm supervising at the same time at the kitchen, preparing breakfast because they have to leave the house 7.30 to school. So by 6, 6.30 to 7, they dress up waiting for their breakfast. So 7 o'clock, they finish taking their breakfast, 7.30. Before 7.30, I see them off to school. Then I come back to go around. Maybe some of the work they couldn't finish, like dressing of beds, going around the building to find out petty, petty things. Then I go back to take my breakfast. After that, if there are certain things that I will iron, I do it. Because maybe that during that time, there is no auntie. So I have to do that. But if there is none to do that, then of course I go back and pick my daily observation uh, log. And then during that time, the house is cool. So I can concentrate and write whatever trans happened during the time before school then lunch time i go to the kitchen to prepare lunch for those in the junior class like kg and nursery when they come back when they come from school they take their lunch but if they are all in school then during that this time i don't prepare lunch i straightly go to prepare supper because because four o'clock they have to come back home so when they come, immediately they arrive. I ask them to go and shower. Immediately they arrive, they go to shower. Then I engage them to do their homework. By 6 o'clock, supper will be ready. Then, before then, they are finished with their homework. And then they eat. So after supper, we've all agreed that 7 o'clock will be on table and steady. So 7 o'clock, we are all at our table and steady. Up to 8 o'clock, we go to bed. So when the, I see them off to bed, I come back to check whether some of the doors have been closed, whether some of the cooking utensils they've left outside, I have to go back and pick them and then arrange them well. Then I come back to take my bath and then I go to bed. When I sleep, maybe within two to three hours, I have to get up, go around and look at them. Maybe some of them, the clothes that they used to cover themselves will remove. You have to uh, cover them well. Those that will urinate, you have to wake them up to go and urinate. Sometimes, too, you monitor both boys and girls. So, as a mother, you have to be observant. I go to bed around maybe 10, 30, 11, then I go to bed. Then we sleep. Until the next day, we all get up again. During weekends that we don't go to school, children are allowed to rest at least for maybe two hours. Normally, we get around 5.30, but when there is no school, we get around 6 to 7. 
because we need to rest. Then we rest. When we get up at that time, that which is Saturday, we have our morning devotion at the same time as our family meeting take place so that we discuss things that did not go well during the weekend. We discuss it and then find a solution to them. Mm -hmm. Say and free will say, Brabetit and Kuala. And your dear will be do her, will be to me. I when it jay and Kuala will now tell Kuala sends you here, and you will be to me. I until near mammy need Jim won't teach you on a say. Me won't send me back. I will feel me fear be a during games time. A be a football man will send me by woman here, bonny dee. At let us name here, bonny bed in the name I always want to see my children excelling and doing in many things. See, I make a say I'm missing me day in your admission. I work at the young man, one I may show a year, but I be a mad beer village. Yeah, a person be feeling free. In to say, and I'm here, what drum, maybe few fear the other say, me, Jim Quan. And Uncle Lamus said, You're who shall quain here, which would two and you shed them one. We won't come on mobile. Pempen so many. A dear Dria, nay, a medium queer. The last one way, almost the name Bremen, three months. And so, and then, when you're ten years. Now, wow, sha. And you need this room. You need this room. Until you manage it. Obiaso obeka cho se djuma ne nya di biaso no da da o Ejuma na edin na mmu ehia abotre ene ntiase ene odo ene ahofa ma na wetumi aye biye da se